If you're asking yourself, would I make a good life coach? Then here are seven signs that you're meant to become a life coach for 2023. My name is Krista Kathleen. I am a full-time life coach, a spiritual business mentor, and the founder of the Born to Coach Training Academy. And I'm sure as you begin your exploration towards figuring out if you're meant to become a professional coach or not, you're looking for all the clues and signs to help you to figure out if this is the best next path for you to take. So I've been working closely with new life coaches from all over the world, and I see a lot of common signs that people are meant to become a life coach. And I want to share some of those with you today. So the first sign is that you love personal development work and you can't get enough of it. I'm sure your Kindle is filled with self-help books. You love listening to podcasts as you're walking your dog or driving to work and you probably love binging on Netflix documentaries. And I'm sure Brene Brown is your spirit animal. I know that she's definitely my spirit animal. Basically, you just love challenging yourself and seeing how you can take your life to that next level of fulfillment. The second sign is that you've probably overcome a lot of challenging events in your life, and now you feel called to turn your pain into purpose, and you want to help others overcome challenges as well. Right before I decided to become a life coach in 2016, I went through a really messy divorce and a tragic job loss. It was definitely my rock bottom and one of the most painful events of my life. So when I became a life coach, I started sharing my story online and my story attracted the people who were meant to work with me. And I ended up working with a lot of women who also lost their jobs or were ready to switch careers and do more fulfilling work or had recently gone through divorces. So it was so healing for me to see that I had gone through everything for a reason and now that I could help people to overcome similar type of events and give them hope that they could thrive after going through really difficult times. Right, the third sign that you're meant to become a life coach is you enjoy helping others. So getting to help others and see their life become better because of you is probably coffee for your soul. And I bet you're already in a service helping profession. So maybe you're like me, or I was a nurse before I became a life coach, or maybe you're a social worker or a teacher or a therapist, because like we said, you already enjoy helping people. And you probably see life coaching as a way to continue helping people, but to do it more on your own terms. Number four is people probably naturally are drawn to you and they open up and they share intimate details about their life with you. You probably have this inviting presence that just feels very safe for people and it feels natural for them to open up and want them to tell you things about what's going on in their life. I don't know about you, but every time I go to the grocery store and I'm waiting in line at the grocery store, somehow I end up in the conversation with the person behind me. And then the next thing I know, they're either crying or they're telling me their goals in life or um, something really hard and challenging that they just went through. And it's just like within minutes, we're already connecting on this deep level. And sometimes it's really exciting to have this gift and be able to help people in this way. And then other times it can be a little annoying as well, because I just want to get my grocery shopping done. <laughs> The fifth sign is that you are a really good listener. And this is a great skill to already have because running a professional life coaching session, you're going to be doing active listening most of the time during the session already. So in our Born to Coach Training Academy, we teach the ICF, known as the International Coaching Federation methodology. And what they recommend is that 80% of the time in your session with your clients, that you're listening to them talk. So being a really great listener is a really useful and powerful skill. And we're gonna help you to expand upon this to really help take your clients' lives to that next level. 
The sixth sign is that you're a sensitive, introverted empath like myself. Now, unfortunately, a lot of times people associate these traits negatively, um, but actually they're amazing traits to have to become a really great life coach. Being sensitive and introverted and empathic allows you to deeply connect with other human beings and also allows you to be really in tune with what's going on with them as well. So I know sometimes we can really shame ourselves for having these qualities. Um, I know that I'm still doing a lot of inner work around this topic as well, um, but I've really seen that people that have these qualities, it makes them excellent coaches. And in the Academy, we'll teach you how to lean more into these gifts as a way to really help your clients. And the seventh and last sign is that your current job is not feeling fulfilling anymore and you feel like coaching is your true purpose and your path in life in order to create a bigger and more positive impact on this earth. I remember right before I got fired from my nursing career, I was thinking about quitting anyways because I just felt like even though nursing is an incredible profession and we absolutely need nurses in this world, I just felt like it wasn't my true calling and there was something else out there that was wanting me to answer it in order to serve people on a deeper level. So if you're currently feeling this way as well, then I'm sure that becoming a life coach is your next step towards creating that fulfillment for yourself and be, being able to serve humanity. So if you're currently feeling this way as well, then I'm sure that becoming a life coach is a way to answer your true calling and to serve humanity on a deeper level. Okay, so let's just go ahead and quickly review the seven signs that you're meant to become a life coach in 2023. The first is that you love personal development work and you can't get enough of it. The second is you've overcome a lot of challenging events in your life and you want to turn your pain into purpose and help others thrive through their challenges. Number three is you enjoy helping others. Number four, people are naturally come to you for advice and sharing intimate details of their life. Number five, you're a really good listener. Number Number six, you're a sensitive, introverted empath. And number seven, your current job is not fulfilling anymore. And you feel that coaching is a part of your greater purpose and calling in life. Okay, so if you wanna learn how to become a professional coach so you can positively impact people's lives and get paid to do the work that you love to do, then I wanna invite you to check out our level two PCC accredited coach training program called the Born to Coach Training Academy. If you really resonate with my energy and most of the signs that I described to you in this video feel true for you, then I know that you're going to get so much out of the Academy and just absolutely love and enjoy learning how to become a professional coach. So book a coach training consult with me. As soon as you're done watching this video, just go below the video and click on the link and that way we can meet and chat. I can hear more about your vision and your goal with becoming a life coach. And we can explore whether the Born to Coach Training Academy is going to be a good investment in fit for your needs. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. I'm so incredibly grateful for you and that you feel called to do this important work. Make sure you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that way you can continue to stay notified when I release new videos each week. All right, coach, have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. And don't forget to book that coach training consult with me. Right, bye.